the start of a beautiful day with Garnier and Lorraine. Hello, welcome back. We've got all the backstage news from last night's National TV Awards and all the fashion, good and bad as well. First though, we are celebrating the 30th birthday of an iconic movie. The musical Annie opened in cinemas back in 1982, making a big star out of 10-year-old Aileen Quinn, who played the title role. In a moment, Aileen joins us live from Los Angeles. First though, let's have a reminder. up now. Actress Lillian Quinn joins us live from Los Angeles. It's lovely to see you and so good to see that again. I can't believe it's 30 years ago. I can't either. It feels like it was maybe 10 or 15, but sadly it's 30. I know, it's extraordinary. It really is. And what? Did you know, as a, as a, as a 10-year-old kid, did you any idea what a big deal this was going to be? No, I had no idea. I mean, I'm a theater actress originally, did the Broadway show, so you know, I was used to theater, so to have a film come out in the theaters and then have everyone recognize you afterwards was very new for me. Exactly. And we saw there in the clip, you know, you were working with Albert Finney. I mean, the yes. director was the legendary John Houston. You were working with giants. I really was. And what was amazing was that not only were they giants and so talented and so experienced in their field, but they were as amazing off screen as they were on screen in a different way. They were all really kind and wonderful to me. I was, I was so blessed. No, it's really good because, uh, you know, you, there was thousands of girls auditioned for that and you, were, you, you, know, you won that part, which was, which was incredible. But it's one of those roles that really kind of defines you in a way. Do you look back on it with affection? Do you still, you know, I wonder when the last time you watched it? You know, it's really funny because I won't purposefully seek it out, you right. know, but when it comes on TV, it'll be really funny, especially if it's around the holidays, just like they probably play in the UK. And it's on TV and I'm, you know, wrapping presents or doing something. I catch it and I watch a few minutes and, oh, it brings back such great memories. The, the last time I watched, I think I saw Easy Street and Bernadette Peters and, oh. and Carol Burnett and Tim Curry doing Easy Street and I just giggled. Oh, it's good because, of course, Carol Burnett was in there. In fact, we've got a little clip. This is a, this is a lovely one with Miss Hannigan. Have a look at this. Oh. What do we say, Annie? I love you, Miss Hannigan. Why any kid would want to be an orphan is beyond me. Do you know what? Looking at that and all of those scenes, it must have been fantastic to work with someone like her too. Oh, it really was. And you know what's so funny is that she was the exact opposite of that character. <laughs> so the first time she met me when I went on the Today Show, I remember her saying, oh, I can't be mean to her. I just want to put her in my purse. <laughs> and she was like that during filming in the scenes where she's trying to uh, keep me at the orphanage and Grace is trying to take me away, you know, when they have to pull on me. She kept saying, did I hurt you too much? I get really into it. But she's so kind and so considerate. She's oh. the opposite. And of, of course, of course, Arlene Phillips, who we know very well, over here for you know yes. Strictly Come Dancing. She did the choreography. She did. She worked with Joe Layton and she's fantastic. And actually, Ar Arlene would probably tell you this, which I'm sure you'll get to later mm -hmm. in the conversation, but we've worked together again because I did Saturday Night Fever a few years back oh. on the first national tour. Right. And she worked on that as well. So luckily, we've had some short reunions and I'd love to see her again soon. No, 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 no. She must have been about 10 as well when she did, when she did that. She looks fantastic. She's absolutely brilliant. I know. And she's when, amazing. She really is amazing. When, you're so, when you do a role like that and, and when you're a child star, it's always it's difficult to make that transition, isn't it? It's, it's quite a hard one because although it's an amazing role, people, people sometimes don't want you to grow up. That's true. And, and it was more, it was like that when I was younger. I'd say between the ages in the teen years and maybe in your early 20s, that's when they kind of want to keep you in the same kind of roles or they don't want to see you do something else. But recently, it, it's, it's gotten easier now mm -hmm. that I'm an adult actress and have done a lot of theater and, and, and had many different roles in theater and got to grow. So now, not so much, but in the beginning, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I would imagine it would be. And actually, you went back into Annie, but not as Annie, obviously. I did. That's why it's really funny when I saw this scene last Christmas um, with, with Easy Street because I got to play Lily in Aspen, oh. Colorado. I had such a good time playing Lily. It was so much fun. It was a blast. So really for you, it's great memories. I mean, fantastic memories and, and something so, so special. 
Yes, I'm, I'm very fortunate because I, I only have very positive memories of the mm. film. And even afterwards, uh, John Huston, an amazing, iconic director, speaking of the word iconic, and he invited my whole family to go to his private cove in Me Mexico for two weeks. Wow. And just spend time with him and relax after filming. John Huston, I realize <laughs> now. At the time, he was just so sweet, like a grandfather figure, but now I'm like, wow. <laughs> like two I know, weeks with John ex Huston. exactly, absolutely. And now you're based in LA and basically, you know, doing, doing obviously, as you said, theater and TV and all of that and just loving it. Yes, I have to say, I mean, I, I just heard fr from one of your representatives that it was, I think, seven degrees Celsius yesterday in London or something like that. It was cold. <laughs> yeah. I do love the LA sunshine and I'm specifically here trying to um, more work on TV because yeah. I've done films and even recently some films, smaller films, and I've done a lot and a lot of theater, uh, Broadway, national tours, off-Broadway, everywhere. Uh, so now I really like would like to take a character and develop it on a TV show. So we'll see what happens Fantastic. In LA. Good luck with that, Eileen. It's lovely to talk to you. Come back and talk to us anytime. Absolutely I would love great. to. And next time in London. I love that city. Totally. <laughs> totally. Come and see us and sit in the sofa. Thank you so much, Eileen. She's great. Now, we are saving money right now. Here's Martin Lewis with this week's Real Deals. So, I got an email from the producer. It says, meet me 